everyone's like really obsessed with Ryan Gosling, but I've only seen him in one movie. Crazy Stupid Love? No, Nice Guys. Oh, Nice Guys, of course. You, you've seen him in the one movie that no one else has seen him in. I reckon we can zoom so, in further. Yeah. I reckon we can zoom in further. We can, and we should. Oh, yes. I, I, lo I love a nice stay in as well. slow rag zoom. Ooh, Woo! yeah, boy. Is the focus right? Uh, I think it's on autofocus, so, so oh, it should no, be. No, I hate autofocus. No, it's on menu focus, so... Oh, do you want me to do the focus? Mm. Focus in on the Coca-Cola symbol, right where your head would be. It actually is focused on the Coca-Cola as well as the writing on your shirt, which means everyone's, everything's in cool. focus. Cool. <laughs> Let's... All I, all, I, all I said was let's. That's all I was going to say as well. How much the... Help! <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Working Title Productions. My name's Ben, his name's Ed, and we're here to bring you another episode of Movie Talk. Bringing you all of that movie goodness faster than everybody else. Even when we upload late, we're still getting our reviews out before America does. Ooh. Suck it! No, it's fine. Yeah. We love you guys. We love you guys. Um, wow, we just made two separate wrestling references in like <laughs> simultaneously. It was great. Today's episode, not so exciting. Uh, we haven't got an exciting review for you of a hey, movie hey, episode. Hey, don't, don't sell us your every episode movie talk is exciting. Because you get to see Ed's hair get a little longer. <laughs> The contrast between like the Deadpool review and like now is like a standard. It's crazy. So good. Um, Big fan of it. <laughs> it should be a timeline of Ed's hair. We should well, do well, that. We, we, film, we, can, we film every week. There literally is a timeline. Yeah. No, but we should do like an end of year special. Take like one second or not even that. Like a quarter of a second from every video and just focus on your hair and see it get longer and longer. Anyway. Wow, we've gone off good topic stuff. twice. Since we did the official intro. Anyway, what are we doing today, man? <laughs> today, today we're here to bring you a couple of trailer reviews. Something that we've done once before. Something that I actually thoroughly enjoy doing. I love looking at trailers. Um, today we're going to look at two in particular. They've come out in the last three days or so. Uh, it'll be getting closer to five days, almost a week, by the time this video goes up, unfortunately. But it's still fun to talk about. It's something you guys can get involved in as well. We're talking about the Wonder Woman trailer, and more recently, the new Lego Batman trailer, which is one I really want to talk about, but we'll get into the Wonder Woman trailer first. Ed, what was your initial impression after watching it? Um, of the Wonder Woman trailer? Of the I, Wonder Woman trailer. Yeah. I saw it and I was like, cool, more of what we knew we were already going to get. Because we got the more, Comic yeah. Con teaser, I believe. Whatever they called it, yeah. Something um, like that. This is the second trailer. It's not this... It's no, the no, no, second that no, they're not there, calling there, it the there, there was the first look. You're right. Then which, there was which, which was the one where we only saw her, like, which was like where, which was with the interviews and stuff. And then the, which, mm. and then the comic, which was like a feature at more. Than a, than a trailer. Yeah, behind the scenes featurette. Then um, there was the Comic Con trailer. Teaser, then trailer, whatever. Then and Gal Gadot. The very funny wo woman's rights. That's right. Line. Yeah. Um, On my where I come from, that's called slavery. I like her. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. And there's, and there's more stuff like that in this trailer. Yeah, it was right. like it was, um, more cool stuff that we already knew we were getting. There, there were some things I wasn't expecting, like, like the storming Themyscira. Yeah. That was cool. That was crazy. I was expecting to see that. I've never thought anyone ever got the Themyscira. Mm. Every interpretation I've ever seen, it's like this holy place that's just so far removed from everything mm. else, and you can just never get there. Like, mm. I remember in particular, like, Gosh, watching... name's Chris Pine's character. Yeah. Steve... S Steve Trevor? Yeah, Steve Trevor. Yeah. That old guy. I'm not very well versed in the Wonder Woman comics, but... I've got some of it down and a little pat. bit from you too. Nice. Yeah. Um, no, I remember watching uh, Batman Superman um, Apocalypse. Yes. And they go to Themyscira and they get there and everyone's just looking at Batman like, and Superman like, what are these things? Like, oh, I guess I guess no one ever goes to Themyscira if they're not 
Amazonian. Yeah, and you're right, and that's a general idea. Um, and, but luckily... A whole swarm of Nazis! No, no one cares about one Not woman. Nazis. Nazis are the second Germans. world war. Germans. Germans. Yeah. Soldiers. No, and, and luckily no one cares enough about Wonder Woman canon that, like, they're going to be mad about a whole army getting to Themyscira. <laughs> Not enough people care about the Wonder Woman canon to get mad. Sorry. You said, sorry. Like, oh, is, I'm gross. sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, but, this, like, what I mean by yeah. that, like, if you had, like, Germans storming Krypton or, like, Germans storming the Fortress <laughs> of Solitude... That would never <laughs> happen. Okay, maybe not the Krypton one, but, like, if you had, like, Germans storming the Fortress of Solitude... Actually get to Krypton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd watch that movie. <laughs> That'd be a great movie. I no, know. You know what I... Just said it, like, 200 years before Krypton's I'll explosion. I'll pitch this to like... you after the episode, but I've got a great Krypton movie to pitch to you. Alright, I'm down. Anyway. Um, su- it... Off topic, yep. but Supergirl is doing a lot of really cool stuff about the mm. whole... So I, yeah, because you've been watching Supergirl. Mm-hmm. Like, how cool is it? They just talk about other races like it's nothing. Like, yeah, they're, like they're totally embracing. Absolutely. Like, Krypton's the only alien race on Earth. Like, it's just really cool. Back to, back to the same skewer. Um, but like, yeah, if you had Germans like some of the forces of Solitude, was like, uh, the forces of Solitude is not represented from your Superman's character, and that, and it has to be, he has to be alone, or with, like one other person there. Like, you can't do things like that. That's that's what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, but it's same skewer, like. Introducing the idea of like Germans storming that beach because it's like a callback to like Normandy and things like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Like a lot of famous battles start with people storming beaches, mm-hmm. Gallipoli, Normandy. And like, it looks like the Amazonians Ooh, like that. are a lot weaker than they typically are. Like, that lady, you never see it, but she's most likely injured by that bullet that just misses mm. Wonder Woman. Like, I mean, they're susceptible to things like that. Like, yeah. you, like you see one woman have to use the braces the entire time. Yeah, exactly. Time. She's like, then there they're is not, they're not bullet. There is a fear of being hit. It's just not like a normal person where you brave. can't dodge a bullet. It's just if you don't, it's going to hurt as much as it would hurt anyone else. And yeah, and keep keep on that. I think the them here in fighting style looks really cool. Where mm. that like it's like this almost like its own discipline. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Absolutely, they've created a real culture around it. Mm. Um, I'm trying to remember the director's name. And I can't. It's just not coming to me. Patty Jenkins? Yeah! I want to say it's Patty... I believe. Yeah. Oh, hold on. You keep going. I'll Google it. Or I'm Re- regardless, um... I'm pretty confident it's Patty Jenkins. You know, like, I had no idea who she was before coming on to Wonder Woman. But I, like, I did my research and I heard a lot of other opinions about it. And from the sounds of things, she's very good at this kind of stuff. She's got a very clear idea from Wonder Woman. She's passionate about the character. And that's just sort of seeping into everything else with the Nailed movie. It, the Patty way- it was Patty yeah. Jenkins. Thank you, Ed. No problem. Champion. Um, she's really nailing the culture of the Amazonians as well, and she's really nailing the World War One setting. And it's um, yeah, it's just clear that that comes from a passion for the character and really wanting to do it justice. It's uh, justice. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I find it hard to believe that after all this time. We're only just now getting a Wonder Woman movie. Like, it took that long to get one Wonder Woman movie. Like, they were doing Superman and Batman movies before they even knew what it meant to make a Superman or a Batman mm. movie. And, like, considering she's, like, supposedly supposed to be one of DC's Trinity, like, it's, Top three. it's crazy. Yeah, because, you know, Flash or, or Green Lantern, they're not yeah. up there. Yeah. <coughs> um... And yeah, and then it's cool that we got some plot details as well, kind of like gleaning bits and pieces about what's going to be. Doctor mm. Poison seems to be the villain. Yeah, still um, hearing those rumors that as well as Ares is going to be that German officer guy played German by officer. Oh, Danny Watts' face. That's cool. I can get behind that. Yeah, like well, there's been no confirmation, but the rumors just persist. More than they ever that, persisted with anything else. That's good stuff, actually. I would like that. Yeah, right? Because and the idea is that... very common one woman villain. Yeah, and like, the idea is that he's just perpetuating all of the anger and all of these crickets are going to ruin the episode. It's fine. But that makes so much sense because Ari, his, Ari, Ares, Ares. Ares' whole thing is that he can only survive when there's some form of war going on. It's what he feeds off. Like, yeah. It's what... it's. Like, it's something that's delved into in Injustice in Wonder Woman comics. I think it's particularly cool in, in, in Injustice because oh, it actually leads him to Injustice. joining the Resistance. Yeah, um, it's great. Instead of Superman. Um, and yeah, it's just like he needs it to go on. And it's like, I can totally see him just like pushing this world war. Just yeah, like, exactly. Just like, like let's, nothing let's like this has ever happened before. And, it, and it's not like being evil villain, like leading an entire front. He's just like behind the scenes, like, mm-hmm. and you're going to make that decision to keep the war going. 
And you're going to make that decision to keep the war going. Yeah, I don't and even think you're going to die to stop the war from ending. I'm actually going to be disappointed if that's not it now, now that you've brought that I know, up. Now, I really, awesome want, now I really want it to be, to be airy. <laughs> well, I, swear, I feel like that's yeah. why the rumor persists more than anything. Um, Very yeah. likely, Poison is going to be the key villain. Um, and then you even see that gas. Yeah. Like, it just destroys a gas mask, which is such cool. a crucial element in mm. all tactics in World War One. Because, like, trench warfare is so stale and rigid. And they were using all of these toxins and gases to try and, like, tip the balance. And, of course, you know, I hate to get into too much history. But, like, it gets ruled out after the First World War. But during the First World War, they were using them a lot. And so that's why they're all wearing gas masks and stuff. And it looks like Poison Scrad 1, which just deteriorates a mask. And it's like, ha, huh, you're gone. Mm. I was going to swear, but like... No, that, that, win, that, that, that would win the war. Yeah. The Germans. Yeah. Like, that's like, that's huge. Um, like you said, especially in World War 1. Yeah. Um, I, I can't stop thinking about Ares now. Because like, even yeah. like, one of those final shots in the trailer is like, them two like, facing off in like, this, just this small yeah. room. Like, a German officer wouldn't hold his own against one of them. It makes no sense now. Like, oh... So it no, it all it. makes sense now. It and made no has, sense he, before. And he's, and he's clearly wielding her sword as well, quite comfortably. Yeah. In that, as well. As I like, reckon he's Ares. Got to be Ares now. I'm good. I, I wanted to be, stuff. and to think he was in X Men Origins Wolverine. Mm. I saw that today. I thought it was very funny. From one mm. origin story to another. Yeah, definitely. Um, Hopefully, this one's a lot better than Origins Wolverine. Gal Gadot. There's just a couple of lines that she delivers in the trailer. I'm like. Wonder Woman doesn't sound like that. Like, in, in my mind... And I know that Gal Gadot can speak English Gal well. Gadot. Gadot? Gadot? It's Gadot. Gail... Gal... Gal... Do- G- Shut up. Doherty? It's Gal Gadot. Dido. There's, like, there's just this one YouTube video, and it's just a supercar of her saying her own name, confirming how it's pronounced, and it's just like, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot? She can speak English. I know she can. Yeah. It's not like our, super our, full. Our, our, it's better than us because we're Australians, so we automatically do it wrong. But like, she can speak English, and then her, her accent just sounds heavier than it needs to be in this trailer. I'm like, can stop. You, you were doing it fine in Batman v Superman. It was good in Batman v Superman. Just really saying something because that movie gets a lot wrong. Um. Anyway, look. I'm going to bring this up. Maybe it's because she's only just left Themyscira. Ooh, good touch. Because, like, for, so often we see Themyscira as portrait and they're just, like, super Anglo, right? Yeah. Doesn't really make sense, does it's it? kind of weird. Yeah. I feel like, just after the leaving Themyscira, bit of an inflection on her voice, after being with... Mankind for a hundred men, years. The men's world for, yeah, a hundred years. In two years, that's crazy. It, no. Hundred hundred year hundredth anniversary of World War One was two years ago. hundredth uh, anniversary of it starting. Yeah. I have no idea. This movie takes place sometime in World War One, so it's yeah. between fourteen yeah, and eighteen, years. which means a hundred years. years is twenty fourteen to twenty eighteen. Yeah, so like that it makes sense that you would have less of accent after spending so long yep. in the rest of the world. The rest of the world. So you see now now you're not mad about the accent? Yeah, it yeah, it's a good explanation. Um, w- things I really like, because I just shut on the movie for a little bit. So, um, I'm loving the colour palette. I think yeah, it's really, it's cool. really great. I Especially like... Especially them serious. We keep yeah, coming back definitely. to it, but like, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's the blues. It really the blues great. really pop in, in, the, in the trailer. Definitely. And um, I like... I, I kind of wanted the Wonder Woman suit to be a little closer to the comic book. I wanted them to go like really, really close, but knowing the way that DCU works, they never really go right on the comic book. It's never lifted straight out of the pages. The colour's dulled a bit, but I love how it's not, like, Man of Steel dulled. <laughs> like, the suit in Man or of Steel... BVS. Superman's suit in Man of Steel. Well, it's better in BVS. It's got a bit more blue to it. It's a bit more... I'm talking about Wonder Woman's suit in BVS. Oh, right, yeah. But, like, the Superman suit in Man of Steel is, like, a metallic-y grey-blue. Mm. With a very dark, almost maroon red, and no yellow, they improved it a bit. Man, is, uh, Batman v Superman, and then Wonder Woman suit Mildly. is just kind of brown and navy blue. Even in daytime, yeah. his suit struggles to look blue. Oh, I was talking about Wonder Woman with the brown, but yeah, Superman's yeah. suit is still still missing just a bit of blue. 
Uh, Justice look, League. Justice League, it actually looks blue. Yeah. With red. One woman in this trailer, my colours look great. Thank God. Um, look, the, the trailer isn't, like, crazy awesome, but I still found it to be enjoyable and it's encouraging, especially after hearing all this news about the Flash just beginning to derail. Mm. Hopefully that's nothing. Um, we should move on. I was about to say the same thing. Ten to eight. Oh, wow, we better go real fast then. Um, we won't spend too long on uh, Batman, Lego, Lego Batman, the Lego Batman movie. No, because I There's haven't really got say. much, no, not much to say other than it's awesome. Mm. Like, my God, does this look cool. And the craziest part is, to me, this is going to be one of the more personal Batman movies. This might be the most personal Batman movie so far. Because, like, if you think about it, I haven't seen, God forbid, I'm sorry, I haven't seen all of the original Batman movies. I haven't seen Tim Burton's run. I haven't seen Joel Schumacher. Um, Joel. From, yeah. Whatever his name is. Schumacher. Um... But from what I can tell, that Batman always takes external threats on in the movies. Especially, like, if you look at the Nolan run. Batman Begins, he takes on the League of Shadows, who taught him. But they're very much an external threat. Um, Dark Knight is about the battle for Gotham's soul when he fights the Joker, an external threat. Um, Dark Knight Rises is very much about stopping another raid on Gotham because of what he did. But it's kind of like this removed personal issue. Um... Batman v Superman, he, he just fights Superman because... Because movie. Because reasons. Because movie. Because movie. Because money. Um, this looks very personal. You know, you're running away, you're afraid of having a family. And it's just a really nice personal touch to Batman. And it's like, Lego in all medium... Sorry, I'm rambling a bit. Lego in all medium seem to have this perfect balance between really taking a dump on all the source material and still being reverent to it at the same time. It's kind of wonderful like that. So you look like you're like bursting your bits. I mean, something. like, see, you say it's going to be a super personal story, but like in the end, it's all going to be played for laughs anyway. Like. I, better than I, not having it at all. I, I'm sure there'll be like a little bit of character film where, like, at the end of the movie, Batman's standing there with Robin, Alfred, and Barbara Gordon and being like, you know, you guys aren't so bad, or something like that. Like, but like, it's not gonna be like he has like this massive revelation or something. Like, in the, I, I'm, I, I'm not sure. seeing, I'm not seeing that happening. Like, it, like, but I'm glad you're optimistic, movie. but at the same time, it's also a Lego movie. The Lego movie's got all kinds of wonderful personal changes and stuff. Yeah. The, the, yeah. yeah. Wow, you I'm saying like the Lego. I you th should rewatch it. Was fine. it. You should rewatch it. It's I great. Really want to. Um, look, the animation looks superb. Um, I love how like this movie. It it's not afraid to pull from literally all the Batman sources from all of history. Like, Even Batman all, v Superman. Yeah, like there's a all very the different yeah, to it. all the different movie franchises. I seen this isn't from this trailer. It's like I seen you go through a similar phase in. He just lists all the years that a Batman movie came out. Mm. It's great. And, like, that just permeates in everything that happens in this trailer as well. It, it looks really fun. It looks really quirky and enjoyable, but it's got heart to it. Zach Galifianakis is playing the Joker. Yeah, he is. I was very surprised. This is very much a comedy cast. Will Arnett, um, I was never really a huge fan of Will Arnett until he played Batman in the Lego movie. <laughs> but he just nailed it so well. And you see in all of these trailers, it's like, this is hilarious. His, his delivery is really like, good as Batman. After, yeah, after especially Batman, as Batman just hates everything. <laughs> yeah. Which this Batman does. Um, after, after Batman became so serious in most of our pop culture, to have one franchise just spin it all around and be like, just chill out. Batman, Batman can be a bit silly sometimes. Mm. But like, he's never really aware of it. I don't know. I love it. I got great enjoyment out of that trailer. I rewatched it way more times than I rewatched the Wonder Woman trailer. I'm very excited for that movie. You? Yeah? Mm. Stop! Stop picking at hairs. Stop! Stop! Um, <laughs> I also very much enjoyed the Lego Batman movie trailer. Um, I thought there's just a very funny combination of just like. Punch, punchline jokes, yeah. as well as like witty adult jokes, like the whole bit where, where Batman's like, is saying he doesn't have a villain as a euphemism for like not having yeah, a committed partner, much. like a, like I thought that was very funny. It was like 
it's like I, I, I like to I, fight I, I around. Like to fight around. <laughs> like it's it's very funny. Yeah, like it, it was a wonderful balance. <coughs> um, and I'm then, very much looking but I think my favorite, my number one favorite line is is just like I thought I was being sarcastic, but Alfred's <laughs> talking about like you should raise your orphan, and he's just like what? <laughs> it's good stuff. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really Michael much to say about. Michael Sarah as yeah, Robin, Dick Grayson. So good. Um, black and yellow. In the, at the start of it. Best use of black and yellow ever. Very funny. They use it in all of the Batman trailers. Ah, oh, the Lego Batman trailers, mm. but like, every time, it, it, it's just not getting old. It's like, yeah, Batman, do you think? So yeah. Very great. Trailers, watch them. I'm sorry we didn't do this for Logan. We could have, but it just felt a little outdated now. Look, um, the reason... I was really excited to do this video again is because I love talking about trailers and this is one you guys can really get involved in as well. Comment below, tell us what you thought about these trailers. Hit us up in the Twitter sphere as well. You can hit Edward up at Edward Nike. You can hit me up. Uh, app? You can hit me up at Benjamin Waters 01. Nope. Benj. I, I'm sorry. At Benj Waters 01. Goodness gracious, man, I'm doing this horribly wrong. And tweet at Oliver Pusey to tell him how wrong he is because he hates the Wonder Woman trailer. Whoa, really? I don't know, we had a big talk about that. Oh my god, like, we should have got him looks, on. Oh, it looks dumb and it just looks like the same as Captain America. And I was like, first of all, World War One instead of World War Two. And second of all, you just hate DC. Well, which isn't true because he, he likes he hates he DC he movies. He actually likes a lot of DC stuff. But he hates DC but still, movies. Like, just I was just like, I, I can't even talk to you at this point. Should have had him on here. This would have been great to have like a different opinion. Oh well. All he knows nothing about. But that's how much we care. That's how much we care about this stuff. We want to bring you guys the best content possible. If you have enjoyed this and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button below. You can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash working time YouTube. Like and share this. We'd really appreciate that. Obviously, I mean, if you didn't like it, you don't have to. But why are you still here if you didn't like it? Anyway, viewership as always is much appreciated guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a good one.